So now we're all here always talking about financial inclusion and getting more people to be involved into our ecosystem. <clears throat> so I'd like to introduce Niall, introducing Pesabase, a uh, low-cost remittance and banking platform for Africa. Good morning, everyone. As you said, my name is Niall Majuk. I'm the founder of Pesabase. See, Pesabase is really the culmination of my life experiences. I was born in a war-torn and stable country. Growing up as a kid, this to me was the norm. I never thought there was actually any other way to live. I never thought there was a better way to do anything. It was such a norm to the extent that as kids we used to joke and say, hey, if you do something bad, you'll tell your friend, hey, bro, be careful. There's a bullet with your name on it. So such a state of affairs seems normal. But as I moved from country to country, as I left Sudan, moved to Ethiopia, and moved to Uganda, Uganda, Kenya, and eventually Australia, I realized that there are other ways to live, and there's better ways to do things. I've had opportunities that I never would have gotten if it wasn't for the experiences that I've had. So PESABASE basically is a low-cost remittance, payments, and banking solution. Sorry, guys, just a uh, thing. Yep, <laughs> had the thing the other way. So PESABASE is basically is a way in my desire and longing over the years to make it easy and cheap for people to really send money to each other. So when you look at the current situation at the moment, Africa sends about $40 billion, $40 billion every year to Africa. Of that amount, usually 8 to 10 percent goes to the people that are providing those services. Fair enough, back then things were hard and someone had to do it and maybe had to take a cut. But we think with what blockchain gives us now, the future is really, really clear. It's very possible to make it cheap. My desire for years up to now has always been the question, why is it not zero? Why is it not close to zero as possible? As PESA base, we want to build understanding problems that blockchains are trying to solve. We want to make it easy for remittance, currencies, banking to happen on the blockchain. We think that with such issues, 97% of South Sudanese, my own country, being unbanked, 27% of the African population being the only bank, we think blockchain gives us a chance and a solution to make this easy. Africa is growing. If you look at it at the moment, there's 50% growth rate in internet penetration. Mobile penetration is at 79%. Half of those are smartphones. If you have this population starting to use the internet via their phones, the question then is, why can we not provide the same level of services to them? The standard that the Western world has, why can it not make its way to this population? So PESA is really the platform. What we're doing is we want to start with remittances. We want to say, how can we make it cheap for you to send money home? At 8%, you're paying $8 for every 100. $200 is $16. We're saying, why can we not push that to zero, if possible? That $8, $16 can go into feeding a family for two, three days. That's an important amount of money that they can get. Blockchain gives us the power to do that. Our token, we say, why don't you become a member and we'll make it easy for you to send money home and build on top of that to do more services that will add value to your communities. So if you look at PESA-based, there are people that have come on board to really help us make it happen. A lot of these people don't have to do this. They don't have to be a part of this organization. They don't have to help me. These are guys that could do other things. Myself, I worked in IT for 10 years in Australia. I was among the founding members of Bitcoin Melbourne Meetup in 2013. Why? Because I saw Bitcoin for the first time is a solution that could really touch the base that I care about most. These are the guys building the next stage in financial revolution. Ivan has experiences across asset management. He knows all the small companies. He's helping me come up with a structure and approach to making it successful to leverage the blockchain capability. People like Daniel, people like Vansa, Eddie Trevia, those guys don't have to help me. They don't have to really be a part of this. They can make more money elsewhere. But they believe 
that there's a chance for the first time to make it possible for the world to have a cheap remittance, a cheap payments, and a cheap way of funding and sending money to each and everyone they love. Thank you.